COVID-19 started, you felt the need to help start a business. What was that business? What did you guys do? Yeah, so it started when my business partner and I, Jack, um, had kind of talked informally probably three or four months before that. We had both had some uh, different tragedies kind of in our lives and people didn't quite know how to help and ended up um, being still helpful, but not maybe as helpful or it was just this kind of weird uh, back and forth. So we wanted to kind of help people find a way to kind of connect those needs and uh, those needs and opportunities, I guess. And so we kind of started informally of more of like a social community thing um, that would just help. So Jack's son broke his leg and uh, one of his friends, one of Jack's friends sent his son uh, a Game Boy Switch. And I was like, oh man, that's really great. I never would have thought of that, but his leg's broken, so he's gonna be held up for a while. So, and then I just kind of thought, oh, it'd be cool if that was a thing that people could realize would be a beneficial thing to give to someone, you know, kind of in that similar situation. So it started informally, but basically Jack started um, purchasing PPE for people where he could find it and donating it. And people started asking him, hey, could you get more? <laughs> And so it went from getting, you know, 10 to 20 kind of things here and there to a couple hundred and then a couple thousand. And basically we kind of found that uh, Jack was always kind of in the middle of people saying, hey, I really need this kind of thing. And uh, other people going like, hey, I have these kind of things. And so we kind of found ourselves in the middle, uh, middle of that in a, in a time when a lot of people were really confused and concerned about everything that was happening and going on. And with some of our experience in supply chain management, being direct with a lot of manufacturers, we were able to fill a lot of those needs that um, bigger companies just weren't able to pivot to so fast. How did you hear about the Students Assisting Business Program at uh, the University of Washington? Yeah, so that just kind of goes back to being in business and being in communities, just keeping relationships kind of up and going and not even really knowing where or when they'll actually come to pass or other things. I just got off another call with someone else where our paths have crossed probably four times now and it's never kind of been a way that we've worked together, but we just kind of keep saying, well, we'll keep seeing how and when we kind of come back together. So it was just one of those circles. I think Jack had done some work in Tacoma uh, as he was building a thing a couple of years ago uh, with community leaders and community members. So as we were starting trying to find uh, people that needed uh, different kinds of supplies, we thought, well, let's go to um, the university just to see, one, is there resources that we could help people to have to understand, but then also, you know, everyone's gonna be trying to get back to school or back to work. And so I forget who he happened upon uh, there, but I think it was two or three connections that then kind of led us to get connected with you guys. Then you decided that, uh, you know, maybe just maybe there might be an opportunity for students to uh, become interns and benefit at the same time that you're reaching out and helping the community. Yeah, I mean, and any business needs to be able to do sales and marketing, right? And so um, one of the things that happened with PPE was that you weren't able to do very natural, uh, normal marketing. Uh, I think our Instagram is like blocked forever <laughs> of being able to do anything because there was a lot of companies selling bad things online too. So um, it totally makes sense of why some of those channels weren't available. So um, Jack and I have a fair amount of relationships, but there's only so many people, you know, that we can reach out to in a new business like this. So when we got to talking uh, to the school, we were like, well, if there are students that would like some real world experience of, connecting with business owners, seeing like what their needs are and how maybe where we could help, that would really help us to be able to reach more people in a more kind of like sales um, kind of oriented setup, right? To be able to get in front of uh, those folks. So the need kind of for us came out of not being able to do normal advertising now, which a lot of those restrictions have been lifted. Um, but uh, at the time we were trying to find a way to reach reach uh, the community out there doing it more than one at a time um, because there's only Jack and I. So getting the help from you all was really great. Why did you think that university students, uh, especially coming from the business school at, at Melgard, would be of benefit to you? I mean, did they, do you think they knew enough? 
Yeah, it's it's really not uh, it's not that old adage of it's what you know and who you know. Um, but it's like this: people that are industrious, I think, will always do relatively well. Of course, um, circumstances get crazy sometimes. Like a lot of them, as we found, come and go, whether they're good or bad, pretty fast, right? And so, if people, uh, especially students, I think, have a really good optimistic and realistic outlook on things. So the industrious ones can see the situation and can kind of like manipulate things kind of going into it. And that's one of my favorite quotes uh, from John Baptiste Say, who uh, wrote about entrepreneurship, about people that just take resources out of one area of low yield and move into another. And so I, I just think with interns, especially and newer business students, they have so much of that theory that they just need a chance to be able to apply it. And so I think it was really great to see them learn through the whole process to go, here's what we think the theory is. So let's go put it out there and see what happens. Oh, that didn't work. So are we done? Are we closed? Or do we need to try again and make some adjustments? So it was really cool to be on those weekly calls with them to go, okay, here's our goal. What did we try? What worked? What didn't? What do we need to change up or try over again? And uh, all the ideas didn't come from Jack and I, or you know, you or Thomas either. Um, they came from the team and from everybody going, okay, you know what? We really need to go more in this direction. That's the response and things that we've been getting. So let's get everybody updated to kind of go from there. It's apparently how FedEx grew really big. The owner would hire entrepreneurs and then he would just travel to each FedEx store and say, what do you learn? What are you doing? And one time someone said, well, I just stayed open till 1, 1 a.m. because I was helping this one person and 10 other people came in. <laughs> and they're like, so maybe we should stay open later, right? And then he just took that and told everybody else and then they like made FedEx office. So, or I don't think it was called FedEx office at the time, but the, what that became, I, I hear, that's kind of the legend of it. And so that just shows how me. young you are. It was called Kinkos. So. Kinkos. I know. I knew the name wasn't right. I was like, it wasn't called FedEx at the time. It was Kinkos. Yeah. Well, um, Joel, Joel, you look like you're not that far removed from college yourself. Mm. What did you expect these young college students to learn um, that they would not necessarily learn inside a classroom? I think it's that uh, it's the real world rejection or experience or the application. Um, because as many times and as many ways that I've made marketing strategies, they kind of like, they're great because you got to think through that stuff and have kind of a plan to adjust and adopt. But until you kind of, the rubber meets the road, it's, it's not in a good, ex it's not a full experience yet. And I think Mike Tyson said, everyone has a plan until they get hit in the face. And so I just think of it in that way of like, how do you get out there and hit the road and actually see what applies and ultimately what works for you? Right. So as a student, you've got to take all these theories from all these years and go, what is it going to work for me? And how do I kind of apply my talents going forward? Because you can't be everything that you've learned. So how do you start to kind of become who you want to be? And it's just from trying. I think. So a big question now. How did the students do? Oh, they did great. I think uh, we probably could have supported them a little bit better at times or given them some more opportunity. And it it didn't come out exactly the way that we wanted to or way we thought, um, but that's, that's part of business. Like you, especially with a thing like this, like you either catch the wave or you don't, and you might be a week or two off. And so, but um, in general, the team did really well because the team was learning and we had good fast feedback of uh, what's working and what's not working. And because we didn't, uh, you know, end up hitting all of our goals, that's okay. The goal of the goals isn't to check them off. It's to like learn and to go past and do other, uh, learn for the next thing. So hopefully they got a good experience out of it. They got to meet uh, quite a few business leaders in the community. And, you know, if they stay up with those, that would be great. And hopefully those business businesses benefited too from the resources that they made and were able to be even just that much more confident in such uh, uncertain times. In the future, in future businesses that you're involved in, uh, will you consider using interns again? Oh, anytime. Internships is how I got started. So they're very near and dear to my heart. Uh, people took a chance on me and I'm really grateful for it. 
So, uh, you know, Jack and I are obviously still trying to see what's going on with XYZ, but uh, we also had a call with like, hey, what else do we think is coming or happening? Um, I started also in the same time a coffee company and uh, would always love the help and energy that, you know, new perspective that people bring and especially ones that are industrious and want to like figure it out and think different and kind of like find those new avenues, I think is a really healthy thing for new companies and older companies. So definitely anytime. Well, Joel, thank you very much for uh, talking about us and for participating in the program. Yeah, of course, we couldn't be happier. Thank you so much. Thank you.